Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1980 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the Oakland Athletics at the Oakland Coliseum. On the mound for Detroit is Dave Rosma, whose record is 12 and 10 with a 4.91 ERA. And pitching for the A's is Alan Wirth, whose record is 3 and 11 with a 6.95 ERA. And so we won the first game of the day-night doubleheader that we're playing today. And the Yankees have the day off, so we gained a half game back. So we're eight back with 12 to go. Looks like um, a New York win or a Baltimore loss will eliminate Baltimore. Uh, and then it'll just be down to two. Um, the rest of the American League uh, yet to be settled. Texas and Chicago still... Uh, have a chance and then if you look at the National League Houston and LA half game apart and Montreal uh, just gained a game on uh, the Phillies so the Phillies are three back so there's some races in the National League that have yet to be decided uh, we won the first game of the uh, four game series uh, eight to four we had three home runs in the first inning against Matt Keough and uh, that got us off to a good start that was really all we needed um, the A's did put up a fight but um, Wilcox got his 12th win on the year, and uh, it, was a, it was a fun game. We got a couple uh, new pitchers into the game, making their uh, Major League debut. Uh, all of the bullpen is available. And, of course, we've completely switched up our lineup for the doubleheader. The only everyday player that's in there is uh, JT. He played in the first game of the doubleheader. And, of course, we got Steve Kemp in there who had the, the first game off. And Richie Hebner had the first game off. And everybody else is just filling in uh, in different roles. And we'll see if that plays out for us um, as we face Alan Worth, who um, got his third win against us. He's won two in a row. And uh, we'll see if we can maybe uh, give him his uh, first loss in a couple starts. Here's the lineup for the Tigers today. Batting leadoff and playing right field is Bob Baylor. Batting second and at first base is Jason Thompson. Batting third and DHing is Champ Summers. Batting cleanup and in left field is Steve Kemp. Batting fifth and in center field is Tony Armas. Batting 6th and at 3rd base is Richie Hebner. Batting 7th and catching is Ed Putman. Batting 8th and at shortstop is Mark Wagner. And batting ninth and at 2nd base today is Tommy Brookins. And here's Alan Worth's stats. As I mentioned before, he's 3-11. This is his 16th start. A 6.95 ERA. Um, twice as many walks as strikeouts, uh, almost. And opponents are batting 299 against him. He does have a complete game. And if you take a look really quick at his uh, game log, he's won two in a row, including a uh, five-inning win against us. He gave up five runs, but only two were earned. And um, five walks. So let's hope we can just crush him and uh, maybe manage to stay in the race just a little bit longer. So here's... Bob Baylor leading off. And he hits a ground ball just under the glove of the third baseman, Wayne Gross. And he's got himself a double to lead off the game. Runner on second. Here's uh, Jason Thompson. And he rips it into the right center field gap all the way to the wall. And he's got himself a double. Back-to-back -back doubles, RBI double for Thompson. And it's one to nothing just like that. So Thompson on second. Here's Champ Summers. Champ hits a ground ball to first. That'll move Thompson over. So one down. Thompson on third base for Steve Kemp. And Kemp walks. First and third now. Definitely a double play opportunity with Tony Armis, who, like we've said it many times, is a total disappointment. Ground ball right back to the pitcher. And they turn two. Oh, come on. We do get a run, though. And uh, it's one nothing as we head to the bottom of the first. Take a look at the A's lineup. 
Batting leadoff and playing shortstop is Tony Phillips. Batting second and at first base is Orlando Gonzalez. Batting third and in center field is Ricky Henderson. Batting cleanup and catching is Mickey Tettleton. Batting fifth and in at third base is Wayne Gross. Batting sixth and DHing is Royal Stillman. Batting seventh and in right field is Mike Davis. Batting eighth and in, in left field is Derek Bryant. And batting ninth and at second base is Shooty Babbitt. Here's Dave Rosma. He's had a rough go lately. 29th start, so this is a, a career high for him in starts. He's 12 and 11, 4.91 ERA. Only uh, 52 Ks in 155 innings pitched. But he doesn't, he doesn't walk many either, uh, you know, either. So uh, he's gets the ball over the plate. Um, opponents are batting 289 against him, so it gives up a lot of hits. No complete games. And here's Tony F Phillips, uh, switch hitter, leading off against Rosma. And he's going to pull it into foul ground for the first out. It's caught by Baylor. One down. Orlando Gonzalez batting 303 versus righties. He hits a ground ball to second, and Brookins makes the play. And next up is the speedy Ricky Henderson. And there you go, base hit to right field. So runner on first. Here's Mickey Tettleton, who uh, is a 20-year-old rookie. He's played in a couple games so far, and they stuck him in the cleanup role. Of course, he played a long time for Detroit, as Henderson is gunned down by Ed Putman. You do not run on Ed Putman. We go to the top of the second, one nothing. Here's Hebner. Ooh, he's going to take a strike three looking. So one down. Here's Putman. And he pulls it into left. It's caught by the left fielder. Derek Bryant. So two down. And there's a base hit by Mark Wagner into left field. So Wagner on first. He's batting over 300 in limited duty. Not a, too bad of a job by Wagner as a fill-in. Brookins bloops it into left center field. It is caught by Bryant, and we go to the bottom of the second. So here's Tettleton, who was um, up when uh, Henderson was thrown out. This time he's going to walk. And he's incredibly slow. So uh, maybe a double play possibility here. Oh, no. Rosemont walks back-to-back -back batters, and that is always a bad sign. So here's Royal Stillman, over 3 against Rosma this year. And he hits a tailor-made double play to third, and there you go. Um, double play by the Tigers, so two down, and Tettleton's at third base. Here's Mike Davis, and Davis hits it into left center field. That's caught for the third out. We go to the top of the third. Still one nothing. Bob Baylor leading off, and he hits a ground ball to first base. There's one out. Next up is JT. Ooh, ground ball is short. And that's an easy play. So two down for Champ Summers, who was the early uh, team MVP. But uh, he has just been terrible the second half of the season as his uh, batting average is under 250. So we go to the bottom of the third. Derek Bryant leading off. Ground ball is short. And Wagner makes the play. One down. Next up is Shooty. Oh, Shooty. Rips it into left field. He's got himself a double. So runner on second. One down. Um, we're going to pull the outfield in. Against uh, Phillips. And he rips it to right. Ooh, caught by Baylor. Babbitt takes third. So runner on third base, here's Orlando Gonzalez. Tough out, but he hits a ground ball to Wagner, and that's the end of the inning. 
to the top of the fourth. This game is moving along here. Steve Kemp leading off. He's going to bloop it into center field. Caught, though, on the run by Henderson. One down for Armis. Armis pulls it into left. It's caught right on the warning track. So with two down, here's Richie Hebner. Four for eight with a home run against Worth. There's another base hit. He hits it to the opposite field. So Hebner on first for Ed Putman. And Putman hits a ground ball to short. Phillips has it, and that's the third out. So Rosemeth only had 38 pitches. He does have two walks. He's definitely a pitch-to-contact guy as Ricky Henderson steps in. Four for seven against him. And it's a ground ball right to JT. There's one down. Next up is Tettleton. Tettleton Kays. That's the first strikeout for Rosema. All right, I'll leave it up to Wayne Gross, who also strikes out back-to-back -back strikeouts for Dave Rosema. And we go to the top of the fifth. Still 1-0 Detroit. Mark Wagner leading off the inning. Hits it the other way. Should be caught by Mike Davis. It is. There's one down. Next up is Tom Brookins. And he pops it up into foul ground. And that's caught by Tettleton. With two down, Bob Baylor top of the lineup again. He bloops it into left field, and it's caught. So, a lot of, of uh, short fly balls uh, uh, to the outfield for the Tigers. This is definitely not our power lineup. As we go to the bottom of the fifth, Rosema pitching pretty good, but this is usually the inning he falls apart. Although, that's three strikeouts in a row for Rosema. Next up, Mike Davis. He's going to pop it up on the infield to Brookins. Brookins makes the play. So with two down, here's Derek Bryant. Two for seven against Dave Rosma. And he gets a line drive right to Wagner. We go to the six. This game is moving right along. We're going to switch it over to the in-game stats. Probably player of the game so far. It might be Dave Rosma. So uh, here's Jason Thompson, one for eight against Worth so far. And he shoots it the other way. Oh, and it's dropped by Bryant in left field, and Thompson has himself a double. So we're going to ask Champ Summers, who's not capable of doing much, just pull the ball. Let's get Thompson over to third base. He can do that. There we go. So we have a runner on third with less than two out. See if Kemp can get him in. He does screamer to left field up against the wall. And there's another double for Detroit. As uh, Kemp knocks in Thompson. It's an unearned run against Worth. So one down for Tony Armis. Armis hits it into center field. Caught by Henderson. And Kemp tags up. Henderson definitely not known for having a strong arm. And really not a center fielder. He was always a left fielder, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, Hebner hits a ground ball to third. And we go to the bottom of the sixth, 2 nothing Detroit. And Dave Roseman has a two-hitter going right now. Shooty Babbitt has one of those. Now he's got two with a base hit to left field. Babbitt's got some speed. Back to the top of the lineup. Switch hitter Tony Phillips. And Phillips hits, hits it to center field. Armis has it. There's one down. Next up is Orlando Gonzalez. 0 for 2 today. Hits it right to Wagner. And they turn 2. Wow. Uh, Rosemont is really picking him up and putting him down. And so is Ed Putman as he takes a walk to first base. We are going to do a sacrifice bunt to try to get Putman into scoring position. Wagner lays it down to first, and it was a perfect sacrifice. So one out, runner in scoring position for Tommy Brookins. 
and Brooklyn's walks. So we go back to the top of the lineup with uh, Bob Baylor. Let's see if Baylor can get a base here. Oh, nope, it's probably going to be a double play. Yep. A lot of speed there, but it was uh, right to the second baseman, Shooty Babbitt. And we go to the seventh. Two nothing. Here is Ricky Henderson. One for two today. Caught stealing. Oh no, there's a base hit to left. So, uh, wow, uh, Henderson stretches it into a double. So he's in a scoring position for Mickey Tettleton. And Tettleton strikes out for the second time. So uh, we have a couple left. We have three lefties coming up. And um, I'm going to go ahead and take out Rosma, who um, probably stretched his limits here. We're going to bring in Dan Schatzader, who had uh, three strong innings in relief the other game, his last game. And uh, we're going to see if he can get Wayne Gross. He does. He strikes him out. That's two down. Next up is Royal Stillman. And he pops it up into foul ground. That should be the third out. Caught by Thompson. Tigers get out of it. Still 2-0. Top of the eighth. JT leads off the inning. Ground ball just past Wayne Gross at third. And another double for Thompson. Ellen Worth now at 108 pitches. Officially tired by the game standards. Oh, what do you know? Champ Summers base hit to left field. Thompson has to hold. So nobody out, runners at first and second for Steve Kemp. And he walks, space is loaded. And they're gonna keep Alan Worth in there. So here's Tony Armas, 0 for 5 against Worth, this uh, former teammate. 1-0 count and he hits a ground ball right to third. And they go home to get the lead runner. Smart play as Armis, uh, once again, is back to being horrible. He's 0 for 4 on the day. So can uh, Hebner at least get us one run with a sack fly? Nope, ground ball right to first. Oh, a run does score. That should have been a double play. But Hebner beats it out as they go to second to get the second out of the inning. 3 nothing, Detroit. Ed Putman up, and they walk him. They're keeping Alan Worth in there. 126 pitches. So with two down, here's Mark Wagner. And a ground ball to second. Oh, and he boots it, and a run scores. 4 nothing. We'll take the uh, run uh, on the error by Shooty Babbitt. 4-0 now. Here's Tommy Brookins. Base is loaded still. Ground ball to third, and that is the third out. So we go to the bottom of the eighth. 4 nothing. We're going to let Shotzi pitch to Mike Davis, and then we'll flip it around and bring it right in. Davis hits a pop-up high on the, on the infield. Actually, it goes to the outfield grass, and Wagner has it. Good job by Shotzader. We're going to take him out. And we're going to bring in Andy Replogle. Been really solid in relief for us. He's going to face Derek Bryant, who gets an infield hit to short. So runner at first. One down. For Shooty Babbitt. Made that costly error. And now he hits a ground ball to Thompson. And they turn to, once again, great job by the uh, Tiger defense. They're going to bring in Ernie Camacho, who's a rookie in 1980. He's a 25-year-old rookie. 42nd game, 3-1, with a 5.53 ERA. More walks and strikeouts. Opponents batting 274. He does have nine saves. And he's going to face Bob Baylor to lead off the top of the ninth. Baylor hits a fly ball into left center field. It's caught by the left fielder, Bryant. One down for JT. JT's going to hit it to right field. And that's caught by Mike Davis. 
So two down. Here is Champ Summers. One for four on the game. And he strikes out. So we're going to the ninth. Um, it's 4 nothing, And I think we need to keep Replogle in there to face Tony Phillips. Does not hit righties well. Oh, crap. There's a base hit to left field. So a single for Tony Phillips, runner in first. Orlando Gonzalez is up next. He hits a ground ball to short. Could this be another double play? Oh, they just get Phillips at second. So they get the lead runner with Ricky Henderson up. One down. He pulls it into left field. Caught by Kemp. That's two down. It's going to be up to Mickey Tettleton. Two down. Gonzalez on first base. Oh, he rips it the other way to left field for a base hit. Gonzalez takes third. And now we got three lefties. So he could not get the job done. We're going to bring in Pat Underwood. He's been pretty good in these situations. So... Uh, Tying run is on the in the uh, on deck circle. That's Royal Stillman. We don't want to get to him. As Gross pops it up on the third base line, and that's the game. Tiger shut out the A's four to nothing. So we have a little wedding streak going here. For what it's worth, that's uh, three in a row. Let's take a look at the standings. And uh, Yankees won as well, and that does eliminate Baltimore. Uh, so it's just down to the two of us, and um, we are in tough shape. But I like the way we're finishing the season. Still four technically in the race in the West. And Philadelphia has fallen one more game back. And uh, St. Louis hanging in there too, so we'll see how that plays out. Let's take a look at the transactions. Nothing of note. So we're going to pull up the box score. We'll get out of here. Appreciate everyone watching. This has been a long season. It's been a lot of fun for me. Uh, like and subscribe if you're new. Uh, the 1981 season will be coming up. There's going to be all new uh, baseball cards and uh, maybe a couple of innovations that I've, I've been toying with in my head. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, we have uh, two doubles by JT. I think we're going to give him... You know, I think I have to give it to Dave Rosma, who pitched a shutout for 6.1 innings. Uh, he's well-deserved of that, and so he's the player of the game, 13-10. and 10. Pat Underwood gets his third save. We don't feel comfortable going to Lopez anymore. And uh, we break the two-game winning streak that Alan Worth had. He's 3-12 and 12 now. Did not pitch horrible. Defense didn't help him out. And uh, a lot of double plays. Look at all those double plays. So uh, that'll do it here from Oakland. Tigers win both uh, games of the doubleheader. And we'll be back tomorrow with perhaps another doubleheader versus the A's. So until then, everyone, have a great night.